Reason why Prince Charles went to visit Prince Philip in hospital over the weekend The Queen's husband is at King Edward VII's hospital in London. Prince Philip has spent his fifth night in hospital, after the royal was admitted there on Tuesday evening as a precautionary measure after feeling unwell. See, the Queen shares romantic photo for Valentine's Day, the 99-year-old is staying at King Edward VII's hospital in London, and on Saturday, his oldest son Prince Charles went to visit his father. Charles travelled from Highgrove, Gloucestershire, to the hospital in the capital, and was the first member of the royal family to visit Philip. The future king wanted to visit his father due to his extended stay in hospital. Charles was pictured arriving at the hospital on Saturday afternoon, looking visibly emotional. It is thought that Charles had not seen his father since before Christmas due to the nationwide coronavirus restrictions. It was revealed on Thursday that Philip is expected to remain in hospital in next week for observation. A royal source said, following consultation with his doctor the Duke of Edinburgh is likely to remain in hospital for observation and rest over the weekend and into next week. As we have said previously the doctor is acting with an abundance of caution. The Duke remains in good spirits. In a statement released on Wednesday, Buckingham Palace said, the Duke's admission is a precautionary measure, on the advice of His Royal Highness's doctor, after feeling unwell. The Duke is expected to remain in hospital for a few days of observation and rest. Charles was visibly emotional as he went to see his father, Hello. Understands that Prince Philip, who is said to be in good spirits, walked into hospital by himself after travelling by car and that it was not an emergency admission. The stay in hospital is purely precautionary and the illness is not COVID-19 related. The Queen has remained at Windsor Castle where she and her husband have been spending lockdown. On the day, she carried out her first official in-person event of the year, making one of her most senior royal aides, Vice Admiral Sir Tony Johnston Burt, a Knight Commander of the Royal Victorian Order, RVO, 